The infamous video known as One Man, One Jar has been etched into internet history not only because of its shocking content, but also due to the countless reaction videos that have emerged on platforms like YouTube. You heard echoes. Okay, yeah. is everybody in? Yeah, we're in. Kind of. Okay. Oh, we're right, here we go. Wait. Oh, God. This is ah. These reactions, often filled with disbelief, horror, or dark humor, contributed significantly to the video's viral spread. Viewers became just as interested in watching others react as they were in the original video itself, creating a cycle of curiosity and fascination. No! 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 Released in the late 2000s, the original video depicts an incident involving a glass container that went very wrong. Despite the disturbing nature of what happened, the man in the video remains composed, which has sparked considerable speculation. Some have suggested that a surge of adrenaline or shock might have played a role in keeping him from reacting more audibly. Others believe that embarrassment might have motivated his silence, especially if there were others nearby. There have been claims of an interview where he explained his behavior, but details about this interview remain unverified and many doubt its authenticity. The spread of one man, one jar, fits into the broader trend of early shock content that circulated during the early days of viral internet culture. Alongside other infamous examples like Two Girls, One Cup, these videos became a sort of online rite of passage where people would challenge one another to watch, seeking to test their tolerance for the extreme. Reaction videos soon followed, serving as a coping mechanism and, in some cases, as entertainment in their own right. The internet community's willingness to share in this collective experience only further cemented these videos in popular culture. The psychology behind why people watched and shared these videos is complex. It may involve natural human curiosity about the boundaries of human experience or the thrill of seeing something taboo. Furthermore, the anonymity of the internet allowed people to engage with this type of content without fear of social judgment. Despite this, many viewers have reported a lasting sense of discomfort or regret after seeing such extreme visuals, highlighting the emotional impact of this type of content. This phenomenon also raises questions about the internet's evolution and how unregulated early platforms allowed such explicit content to thrive. Although platforms like YouTube now have stricter moderation policies, instances still occur where inappropriate content is promoted or recommended due to algorithmic quirks, as some users have reported. One man, one jar, serves as a stark reminder of the darker curiosities within us and how the internet can amplify and spread the most extreme aspects of human behavior. The man's stoicism, the shocking events depicted, and the unsettling aftermath have turned into an uncomfortable part of internet folklore. It's a testament to both the rawness of human experience and the strange power of viral culture, where even the most extreme moments can be shared, reacted to, and remembered collectively. Whether viewed as a cautionary tale, a disturbing cultural artifact, or simply an unforgettable piece of internet history, one man, one jar, reveals the strange intersection of curiosity, anonymity, and shock that characterized early internet virality. It prompts us to question our fascination with the extreme and consider the consequences of our digital consumption in an increasingly connected age.